Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Eve the Medium and I am here to tell you today why Lua of the 21 Division rules this 2020. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, it is a pleasure to be back with you all. I missed you guys so so much I felt like it was a long time since the last time I uploaded and I needed to upload this video for you all but everything just got delayed with uploading the horoscope video which took so much of my time so now to today's video as you all know every year there is a particular spirit of the 21 division that rules and this year the law that rules is Anaisapie for those of you who already know from my videos who are the Ruada 21 division Anaisa is a very powerful spirit she's um, similar to a Chung a lot of people have asked me if it, she's the same deity as a Chung no the different totally different energies Anaisa is very powerful very strong and as I have mentioned in another video I feel like she has like a male energy because she's a warrior and following her this year is Ogumbalinjo he is a warrior of the 21 division and I said no wonder um, the colors for this year was gold and silver because Ogun is a warrior and as you know warriors wear the silver armor and Isa's color is yellow and gold so she comes through to help you all help everyone in general to achieve that prosperity I have mentioned before the success those who have been struggling the previous year um, not achieving their goals feeling stuck so she's here to give you that strength and Ogun Balenjo is a warrior spirit to bring out the warrior in you to bring out that um, that self-confidence within you to do what you need to do um, Anaisa is very good in love she is very good in helping you to attract prosperity abundance business um, money in general She's a very good Lua to help you in anything that your heart desires. She's very known in the attractor factor. She's very good in attracting things into your life, especially love. If you are lonely and you want a partner, she is the one to go to of the 21 division to help you feel more confident, more attractive, and, and believe more in yourself because she's very self-confident. Ogun will give you that strength, um, that power, and also self-confidence to believe in yourself and do what you need to do. He is a, an incredibly hard worker. If you ask Ogun for a business, he will make you work 24-07. He is a non-stop worker. He will inspire you with ideas and he'll give you that energy to go and achieve um, whether it's a new job, a new business. He will guide you in that area. Um, he is also a very good healer. So if you're dealing, as I also have mentioned before, with anxiety, um, panic attacks, stress, and any kinds of worry associated with those things that you want to achieve, because sometimes when we want to go for a new job or start a new goal or start a new business, we tend to stress too much about it. And a woman is there to give you that to give you that push that you may need to go ahead and fulfill those things that that you want to fulfill this year because this is this is a year about fulfillment I understand it started a little rocky and I believe it was that strength of those two laws together because Anais is very powerful and Ogun is very powerful so both their energies together brought in such an intense um, beginning of the year but as I've noticed, it has started simmering down. All those talks about wars and all those things, everything has started simmering down. And we are going to feel the shift. Today, I am going to be um, teaching you how to petition both Ross, Anaisa, and Ogun Balenjo. It is very, very easy to petition them. Anaisa is a very loving energy, and so is Ogun. He's a very, very calm Lua of the 21 division he is in the Ogun division but I feel that he is the most calmest he's the most um, 
he's an easier loi to deal with when it comes to the Ogun. So I will be telling you a service that you can offer Anaisa for love, for finances, and just to move ahead and start doing all those things that you want to do and place you in that state of mind where you will have no fear whatsoever because between Ogun and Anaisa, they will remove that fear from you, okay? Because sometimes we, we tend to feel fear when, when we even think about those things that we want to achieve. So um, between Ogun and Anaisa, they're going to balance that energy in your life. So this is going to be an awesome, awesome year. And I'm going to teach you an uninitiated service that you can offer Anaisa and Ogun depending um, what are your needs depending on the things you want to achieve this year so whatever it is you want this is the year to go for it okay with no fear whatsoever with no fear of judgment with no fear of what others might think go for it this is your life this is your journey go for it I will also be taking you some spiritual baths I will be giving you the ingredients I will post them up here um, some spiritual baths that you can do to join the energy of Anaisapie Again, you do not have to be initiated to do these baths. You do not have to be initiated to do the service. They both have given permission. They both have given me permission to offer this service and these baths for you guys. So uh, feel free to prepare these baths and do the service. The service is only done once. And the baths throughout the year, you can prepare them more than once. These baths are done from the shoulders down. So grab your pen and paper. So you can start taking notes okay so the first bath i am going to be giving you the ingredients to is the anaisa pie bath this bath will help you attract love prosperity abundance and will also help with your spirituality to develop that connection and if you do have the 21 division in your bloodline these baths can help you because once anaisa comes through and starts connecting with you all the other loa will also connect with you so this is a very, very um, good bath to take and just to start getting familiar with her energy. The first ingredient in this bath is a cantaloupe. I'm going to be putting a picture here, I think on the left or right picture. People do call it melon, but it's a cantaloupe and most likely all of you know what is a cantaloupe. What you're going to do with a cantaloupe is you're going to cut it in small pieces. You can put it in a blender with some water to blend it and soften it and then mix it with a warm water depending on the temperature you like then you're going to add one to two ounces of Pompeia cologne the ingredients I'm going to be giving you if you cannot find them where you live you can find them on my website evespiritualhealer.com so it is one to two ounces of Pompeia cologne one to two ounces of Florida water and if you choose to you can even also add love cologne to that bath and then the following ingredient is honey and make sure that is 100% pure honey what you're going to do is mix everything together and do not forget you have to light her small yellow candle offer this candle to Anaisa and call on her energy how do you do that just call on her Anaisa Pie bless this bath that it may bring me prosperity um, love abundance speak from your heart because the spirits they go by what you feel so if you're not putting any emotions into what your petition is they're gonna ignore it so it's best that you're alone when you're preparing this bath and you put all your intention and when you feel her energy you start speaking and letting her know what is it that you want if you want um, a true love if you have woken up with your boyfriend or your husband and you want that person back, always, always say if it's God's will. Because you do not want anything that is not meant for you. You want things that are meant for your highest and greatest good. Um, a good job, a good paying job, a good career, um, a new business. Whatever it is that you want from the spirit, you ask. But make sure that say, just give me what is right for me and trust me they know what is right for you so this bath is taken from the shoulders down and air dry wrap yourself in a towel or a robe and this can be taken on a Friday or on a Saturday morning 
or evening it does not matter it still will give you the same results if you choose to you can also on the same day that you prepare the bath you can offer her a service or you can wait till you start seeing some change in your life and give her the service but it's always good to offer it to her so she can see that you're being truthful that you really want her help and what are those things that you can offer her Anaisa loves the yellow roses a yellow candle and a glass with orange soda or a yellow one no liquor just offer her that and she'll be fine and petition speak to her and trust me you will feel her energy so now we're going to Ogun those who want to petition Ogun I know a lot of men would love to petition Ogun to start a new business because Ogun is very very good in offering advice and guidance when it comes to starting a new business what is Ogun's bath for this year and this is a bath that I recommend that you take let's say only once a month because of its powerful energy so the first ingredient that you will need is some red roses because the goons color is red and blue you're going to get yourself some red roses and take the petals off and put out whatever temperature water you want remember half a gallon or a little bit more depending on your height if you're a very tall person you can add one entire gallon of water I recommend that you light a blue candle it doesn't have to be a seven day candle it can be those small um, blue candles offer it to him call on his spirit ask Papa Goon to help you prepare the bath to bring his energy because you need his help then you will add five to seven um, small capfuls of dark rum gold rum whatever you have on hand but make sure that is the golden type and then you will also add one to two ounces of Florida water to the spiritual bath as you adding the ingredients make sure that your hands are in there mixing everything together rubbing those rose petals together calling up Papa Ogun as I speak of him I already feel his energy really close to me because his energy is very powerful but loving at the same time but you feel like a strength coming up through your feet and that is the power of Papa Ogun you will also add to this spiritual bath some tobacco cologne one to two ounces of tobacco cologne and as I said continue rubbing those rose petals together speaking to Papa Ogun and you will feel his energy because his energy is very very strong so you will feel his energy after you're done what you will do is leave the bath there for a little bit with the candle under the candlelight and let it um, let Papa Ogun fill this bath with his energy and this bath can also be taken in the morning or the evening and pour it from the shoulders down make sure one thing I almost forgot to um, say with Anaisa bath and with any other spiritual bath in general is that you shouldn't have any kind of intimate contact when you're taking a spiritual bath it is not only an insult or offensive to the spirits but it also does more harm than good in the sense that you will not see results so it is very important that you stay away from any intimate contact while you're taking any kind of spiritual baths and these baths especially if you want to attract success because what's going to happen is if you are intimate with someone you're passing all that energy to the other person and that person is going to succeed and you're going to stay stuck exactly where you are and then don't come telling me anything okay so don't say I didn't warn you so um, a warm spiritual bath you will pour from the shoulders down air dry and you can wear the Luas colors you can wear his color blue and for Anaisa you can wear the color yellow or gold whichever of the two you choose to wear and this is this helps to attract their energy even more now to a goon service what's a goon service his service is red roses a shot glass of rum a cigar and a small glass of water a goon is a loi that doesn't ask for too much but um, they want to be appreciated for what they give so after you receive whatever blessing you ask whether it's of Anaisa 
or go make sure buy them buy an ace of some yellow roses give her a service again buy a wound some red roses give him a service again it's not help me with this and that i get the business i get the money whatever it is and then i forget about you thank you very much goodbye it's not that way because just as the same way the loi will give it to you they will take it away and very fast my friends so just be aware of that that just as with everybody we must be grateful we thank god and thank the spirits for their help and always always remember what they have done for you and never forget where you were and what they took you to so this is something very important that you should remember always to be grateful so these are the very um simple services that you can do for an ice in a room and their baths and if you choose to you may on the same day that you're going to do your spiritual bath and the service you can also cleanse your home with the anaisa floor wash or the yogun balenjo um, floor wash all these things together will just give it more strength and more power another thing is that if you want to do both anaisa and yogun services and baths you can do so but wait at least a week in between before um, you do one or the other if you're going to start off with Anaisa where she's the one that entered with the 2020 um, do Anaisa service and bath and floor washing everything first then wait a week and then um, give Agun his service and prepare his bath and his floor wash if you want to do Anaisa's bath again wait at least a month but give it time give the spirits time to work on your behalf another thing do not get anxious if you petition the loi for something leave it in their hands they know what is best for you they know what is right for you and trust me they will give you a lot more than what you ask for so another thing that you can petition a group for is healing and that is why this year that guide revealed to me that anyone that was suffering from anxiety panic attacks they were going to experience a healing is because Agung is a healer ask Agung to help you from anxiety ask Agung to give you peace um, self-control serenity and and to help you have more confidence in yourself because Papa Agung is the best for that and Anaisa also Anaisa loves to shine and she loves to be the center of attention so trust me she'll make you the center of attention she'll make sure that you stand out and a room as i said will give you that that strength and that power to conquer all those things you want to achieve so my loving brothers and sisters i hope you all start preparing your bag for anaisa and a room balenjo and i am sure they will help you a lot and i look forward to reading the comments below of the results that you have achieved give the law time to work on your behalf give them time to bring you those things that you so desire in this 2020 and i wish you all much success health prosperity abundance and do not forget that your main priority should be your spirituality developing that connection with god developing that connection with your ancestors and your spirits if you have enjoyed this video do not forget to like share and subscribe if you are new to my channel you can click the subscription button below and also the notification bell to be notified when i upload a new video i have great things coming up god bless you all and much much love and light